Hello people, welcome to my announcement of Project Pixel. What is Project, Pi Project Pixel? Project Pixel is an attempt, a project for me, a challenge for me, to create a giga photo fig giga fo gigapixel photo. So what is a gigapixel? That's like 1000 megapixel. My current camera has 17.9 megapixel so you can see where the challenge there is how did i get to this i got to the idea for this challenge after i tried out a panoramic photograph that this one this is a finished version in black and white it just feels so good if you if you zoom in you can see the amazing detail in the foreground in the background it's a bit less but that's because of the foggy weather which actually adds so much more to this shot but you can see it's your overall pretty sharp doable and it looks stunningly amazing so this is only 68 megapixel so you can imagine 1000 megapixel for that i need to get what is it 70 shots or something that can be interconnected and stitch it together without edges this thing, this panorama photo for example, is 11 shots stitched together, overlapping edges and it looks very smooth. So now we are coming down to the challenge. What is going to be the challenge for me in this project? The first challenge here will be this, my camera. It's a Canon ES 1200D with a 18 to 18 to 200 millimeter lens that's so to say cheap stuff for photography but it's very good stuff though so most uh, gigapixel projects are made with expensive gear that like stabilizers uh, automatic shooters uh, software stuff like that all right I have the software because I have and have Adobe Lightroom that does the job for it it also did the same job for god damn it this this screen it also did the job for this it did a very well job and that's exactly what i need a good job it doesn't have to be perfect it has to be well done so like i said i need to take roughly 70 pictures with this camera 70 photographs with constantly the same settings a perfect focus and the same lighting conditions. That's where it gets tricky. I can have a burst rate of three pictures per second, so that's going to take some time. I have a tripod there in the corner, so I'm going to use that for certainly. <laughs> that would be stupid doing this without tripod. But no automated shooters or stabilizer, special stabilizers or fancy stuff like that, which costs in the thousands of dollars or euros if possible. True, you have it and it makes life easier but we're going for the challenge. The challenge to do it with this, a starter camera, a gigapixel photograph with a starting camera. That's the real challenge here. Because most people that are trying to take a gigapixel photo that have something like a Canon 5D Mark IV or a luxury L glass from Canon or Nikon or whatever they use to shoot with. But this is something totally different it's a crop sensor not full frame sensor so that's where the real challenge is so i'm going to make a couple of episodes for this uh, like i said i need a location with stable lightning uh, need to handle my tripod properly the camera that doesn't fuck up so to say and yes you get it a gigapixel shot with a 1200D camera. I'm going to see if it's possible. Is it going to get me annoyed? Certainly. Why? I need more than 70 shots. This is 11 shots and it already annoyed me. True, I admit that is at, this is at the focal length of 18 millimeters. So I will probably shoot at 200 millimeters with my full frame, or her full frame, with my gigapixel shot, I mean. So. That should give me some more room to play with, but in the end I have to see it. 
So if you want to follow me with the, in this project, be sure to subscribe me down below and like YouTube once. Click that tiny bell thing to be notified. Don't forget the bell. Don't forget to subscribe and stuff like that. Uh, down below in the description will be some other mediums where I will place regular updates and information about how it's going. Be sure to check out these every once in a while. Uh, I will do my best to keep you guys updated. So the biggest factor for this will be the rudder. Anyway, thank you. I can keep going about the rudder and how hard it's going to be for minutes, but I'm not going to do that. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe down below. I already said that, didn't I? Yes, I did. Click the bell down below like YouTube wants to if you want to be notified. No idea why they did that actually. Uh, Check out the other places where I will have a written blog and of course my Flickr where I will have a dedicated album to this project. So thank you for watching, see you guys next time again and uh, comment down below what you think it's... Damn it, English is hard for me. Uh, comment down below about what you go, what it's going to be like, what you think if I give up, if I'm going to make it, if I just screw up whatever thank you for watching once again see you guys next time